Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Claire Taylor and I'm the artist that creates all the babies that I show here. I sculpt them. I mold them. I pour them in silicone and then I paint them and root their hair. And then I do videos and take pictures and offer these dolls to collectors. So here I am today with another willow. Willow is a silicone doll kit edition and I'm doing three prototypes for willow and um, those three prototypes are the only kits that I'm gonna complete that will be offered for sale. So let me show you this willow. Oh, first let me say if you like my dolls, please subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when I have new babies available. And also like my channel and share. Share with your friends. And um, I'd like to also apologize for my voice. I've been struggling with a cold for a couple of weeks. It seems to be a very aggressive one and it just won't leave me alone. So I might not be talking that much in this video because um, I just can't sustain it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so here we are with Willow. And this um, baby actually has a nice head full of dark brown hair and it is micro-rooted directionally and um, I also rooted her eyelashes so she has um, pretty blue eyes her eyebrows are not rooted they're painted and Uh, as you can see from the way I turn her head, she has a very poseable head. You can turn it from side to side easily because um, she's a one-piece pour and her neck is very soft. One thing I have to say about this soft neck is that when you hold these dolls in your arms and the weight of the baby's head is in the in the crook of your arm it feels so realistic because the head has a balanced loose support it rests nicely on your arm and it feels so realistic so this baby willow has an open mouth she has a tongue, she has gums, and all the way in the back of her throat, she has a uvula. She can also take a bottle, so she can take a full newborn pacifier and a um, bottle just like a baby. This doll is actually drinking wet but you don't really see anything in her mouth or in her diaper area that detracts from the beauty of the doll because it is done very subtly. Okay so let's look at her hands <coughs> and see how she's painted. She has lots of details. Her fingernails are neatly manicured. And she has veining. And uh, um, here, she you can see also she has elbow armatures, but not in the shoulders. So her arms move freely in the shoulders, but because you can bend it in the elbow, 
you can position her in a variety of poses. You can have her suck on her fingers. And because of the armature, she will stay in place. Okay, so let's look a little further. This blanket put a little lint on her. Let's look at her chest. You can see, you know, her skin is mottled subtly and she has veins and blushing and you know, everything is painted realistically. Her legs and her feet. She has neatly manicured toenails. Okay, so let me remove her shirt so you can see her more fully. And let me remove this blanket so that we can get all the distractions out of the way. So, this is Willow. And she's a very flexible baby, very poseable. So if you pick her up she's very floppy but as you can see her head is not extremely loose it has supports internal supports that keeps the structure and keep her from keep her head secure show you her back. I really love her skin tone. It's very subtle and pinky like a newborn baby. So let me go ahead and get her dressed. she can go home to her mom. I like this little Peter Pan collar here. This is a Wilbeth three month knit outfit and it fits her very nicely.
Let me brush her hair first. And that is Little Miss Willow. And I thank you for visiting with us today and watching Little Miss Willow. Thank you for staying with me till the end of the video. And please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.